Welcome back to the channel. I've had this question quite a few times on some forums and that is how do you use Emmet and Lorem Ipsum in Markdown? By default it doesn't work in Visual Studio Code and a lot of people download specific plugins to generate Lorem Ipsum text when they've already got one already built into Visual Studio Code. For this video it's assumed you have Visual Studio Code installed and you'll need an up-to-date version so Emmet's included by default. And for the later part of the video, you'll need the code spell checker plugin installed if you wish to spell check your work and ignore lorem ipsum in that process. And on completion of this video, you'll be able to enable Emmet for markdown files as it's disabled by default. You'll be able to produce lorem ipsum text with the Emmet lorem ipsum function. And you'll be able to configure C spell to ignore the lorem ipsum text so you don't keep getting warnings about spelling errors. Now before we continue, a quick word from the sponsor of today's video. After many years of traveling and working remotely, I frequently use Safety Wing for my travel and remote work insurance needs. Now that COVID-19 has spread around the world, it's even more important than ever. Safety Wing has both remote health and digital nomad insurance, which includes coverage for COVID-19. It's both affordable and simple to understand. I've done my homework and Safety Wing is the best value for money travel insurance around. You can even sign up when you're already away from home. Below in the description is an affiliate link. If like me, you decide that Safety Wing is right for you, use the affiliate link to support this channel. So the first step is enabling Emmet in Markdown files. So I'm in Visual Studio Code and I'm in an HTML file. So for example, if we type in the exclamation mark, Emmet will come up with its abbreviation and we can hit tab and we get our HTML layout. So I want some paragraphs so I can do P, asterisk three for p times three and again we can see there it's an abbreviation and we can tab and that comes up but the problem is if we go into a markdown file and we're in the content part of it none of those abbreviations work i can't get anything to happen so i want a div doesn't work so let's have a look at how we can set that up so we can use emmet and letter on lorem ipsum inside markdown First of all, I'm going to show you how to do this with the graphical user interface. Now to get to your settings, you use control comma. That will open up the settings window and then we have to go into extensions and then Emmet. Now by default, Emmet excludes markdowns. So you have to put a cross next to that to remove that. And there's two more things we have to now do. If we scroll down, to show expanded abbreviation, we have to change it to the option in markup and style sheet files only. So it doesn't conflict with us using asterisks and whatnot with our text in our markdown files. The next thing we need to enable is the trigger expansion on tab. Now you can do that with text and I'll show you how. Do control shift P and then open up your preferences. And these are the three lines that you will need. Exclude languages, make sure there's nothing in there. Show expanded abbreviation in markup and style sheet files only and trigger expansion on tab true. I'll leave that in the comments below. You must use control F and search for Emmet and make sure these are the only Emmet entries so there's no conflicts. Let's look at how to generate some lorem ipsum, not just in markdown but also in HTML files and that's using the built-in Emmet functionality in Visual Studio Code. So I'll show you in Markdown first, and then I'll show you a few extra things in HTML. So we type in lorem, and then tab, we'll get a default amount of lorem ipsum generated. If we do lorem and then specify how much we want, for example, 100, and then tab, we'll get that. We can multiply it. So for example, we did lorem 50 times 2, but you will have to insert a line break there to make a paragraph. Let's look at HTML because HTML is a little bit more useful for us. In HTML we can do P and then a right arrow and lorem and it will create the default amount of lorem inside two paragraph tags for us. And then if you want to do multiple paragraphs you can do P times 4 for example, use your right arrow, then lorem, so we want 50 words approximately, then hit tab. As you can see, it's made four paragraphs for us, all with different lorem, and it's within the paragraph tags. Now, if you've got the 
C spell spell checker, the code spell checker enabled in Visual Studio Code, you'll notice that it continually annoys you about your lorem ipsum text. It won't go away until you remove it or you manually add every single word to the dictionary, which probably isn't going to happen. So let's check that out. So right here we've got some lorem ipsum and you'll see I'm getting all these warnings down the bottom about unknown words from C spell. So this is the plugin that I'm using and I highly recommend it. Um, you can get it just by searching for code spell checker. Let's check out how we can configure that to ignore the lorem ipsum. So I'll show you the graphical way of configuring languages first. If you type control comma or command comma, you can get up the graphical settings. We go into code spell checker, scroll down until you find languages. Ian's for American English, I'm using ENGB for British English. Put in a comma and then type in lorem and then close that and let's check out our markdown files. As you can see, it now understands lorem. I'll show you the text method of configuring it. If we type in control shift P and then you type in PRE or SET for preferences or settings. And then if you look under C spell and then C spell dot language, you have to add lorem. I'll put that in the description as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did like it, please remember to subscribe. I release videos weekly, usually about Hugo and static web design. Please give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions or comments, please put them below. And click the bell notification so you hear about every video that comes out. Thank you very much.